Great Educate Now. Uh, I know that you could be doing anything else, but you chose to rock with me, and I greatly appreciate you. I'm Capital A, and today for my special guest, I have DJ Genius. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And our guest DJ is DJ Clapper. Hey, how y'all doing? Salute. Salute. And today we'll talk about royalties and points, business with producers. So let me get into it. There are three contracts that every producer should know. The first li license is a simple work for hire deal for the sale of a beat. The second is a beat agreement in which the producer receives royalty in connection with the sale or license of the recording as well as a upfront payment. And the third agreement is not, it not only provides a royalty for the recording, but also a royalty in the connection with the producer's contribution to the underlying music com uh, composition. I want to talk about beat agreements. Often a, pro a producer will sell a beat outright. And in that case, the buyer will have the exclusive right to use the beat. But other times, the producer will give a non-exclusive license to use the beat and reserve the right to use the beat for himself or license it to others. Another license I want to talk about is a work for hire or non-exclusive license. If the license is, if the agreement is a sale, it will usually be constructed for a work for hire. In a work for hire agreement, the producer loses all rights to the beat, including the copyright and the right to use the beat again for any purpose. If the, uh, if on the other hand, the grant of rights is a non-exclusive license, the producer keeps the copyright and retains the right to use it to make other deals. It's always in the producer's best interest to retain their copies. However, sometimes the work for hire clause will be non-negotiable uh, and then the producer has, has to ask himself, does the upfront money compensate for the loss of the right to use the beat? Generally, when an artist or indie label hires a producer to create a beat and fully produce one or more tracks, the agreement will be a work for hire. But the producer usually receives the upfront and can negotiate a back-end royalty. Let's talk about fees. The amount of the fee, if any, will depend on a variety of factors, including whether the deal is, a for, is for sale or if it's a license. A sale will generally, more, generally be more expensive than a non-exclusive license under which the producer keeps the right to reuse the beat. But the most important factor in determining the fee is the business reputation of the producer. A producer with a track record of some successful tracks can demand fees of several thousand dollars or more. And a producer with a track record of hits can command a much higher amount. But licensing or even buying a beat from a, talent, a talented but unproven producer can be a few hundred bucks or less. And if the producer receives a royalty in addition to the fee, the fee will usually be structured as an advance which will be recoupable prior to the payment of the royalty. Let's talk a little bit about royalties. As noted above, a royalty for a producer hired by an artist or a small label may be constructed or may be structured based on net receipts and net profits. A traditional royalty for a producer who works with a big label is three to five percent based on the artist's royalty. Net profits should be defined fairly, for instance, as the gross monies received from the scale or license of the track minus the producer's fees and other production costs. Let's talk about mechanicals. Even when an agreement is work for hire, it may be possible for the producer to retain the, the copyright in his contribution to the underlying musical work, as opposed to the sound recording. In that case, the label or artist will require the producer's permission to use that contribution so that they can exploit the recording. In exchange for that permission, the producer usually receives a mechanical royalty, i.e. a royalty tied to the use of underlying musical composition contained in the record. Mechanical royalties are set by statute. The current mechanical rate is 9.1 cents per song per copy sold. Or of the songs over five minutes, it's one it's a dollar and 75 cents per minute or a fraction thereof. And since the producer probably did not create 100% of the song, for instance, 
where someone else, perhaps the artist, wrote the lyrics, the producer's percentage, ownership, or split has to be negotiated. If the producer's negotiated share is 50%, then he or she will receive 50% of stat, i.e. 9.1 cents, for each sale of the record containing the song. This would be in addition to his producer royalty, which is tied to income derived from the record rather than the song. And finally, the label usually asks the producer to accept three-fourths of the stat rate, which is 75% of 9.1 cents. This is called the Control Composition Clause. There is really no justification for it, but all the major labels that have used it for many years to reduce the pay out of artists who write their own material. So I would say the only argument to justify this reduction is that it's a recruitment for the label to use the song in the record. Later in the show, we will give you advice and tips about how to conduct business with a music or well, with a producer. So let's go to a segment called That's Dope. I'm gonna give you six quotes from the world's greatest producers to inspire you in the studio. One, if you had to sign above every studio door saying this this studio is a musical instrument, it would make such a a different approach to recording. Brian Eno. It's the element of surprise. When you lose control, you discover new things. Daniel Linos. When the ideas are coming, I don't stop until the ideas stop because the train doesn't come along all the time. Dr. Dre. You make your mistakes to learn how to get the good stuff, Quincy Jones. And I think the hardest thing to overcome is judging yourself and being your own worst critic, Neil Rogers, or Niall Rogers. Last but not least, it's a big theme in my life, learning about myself and being a better person. I'm a work in progress, I have revelations every day, Rick Rubin. Now for performance opportunities, DJ Genius, has performance slots available for his birthday bash September 28th, located at 8131 Georgia Ave, Silver Spring, Maryland. For more details, contact him at 214-926-6030. Tonight, 20 Bello presents Artopia Art Flow, located at Tropicalia, 2001 14th Street, Northwest, D.C., For more information, call or text 202-870-3011 for an opportunity to perform at the next event. And I want to let all the promoters know, hey, if you have an event coming up that you have opportunities for independent artists to perform, please send your details and all your contact information to wwenradio at gmail.com and I'll share them on air for you. All right, so DJ Clapper, it's your time to shine. Kick it for me one time. Simsima, who got the keys to my bimma? Who am I? The girls, them sugar. How can I make love to a fella in a rush? Pass me the keys to my truck. Who am I? The girls, them luck. And I and I, we make love to precious stuff. You with a book, I get with a like a bucket. Draw for your nigga, yeah, your nigga, if you ask Draw for your oxen like a cow, you all up. Draw for your pick oxen like a gun, you all up. It's like a riverside up on the bank, and you take it. It's like a bicycle, so you hold it and dash it. So you wash it, so you crash it, so you tell you, say you crab it. Girl, she a beg you on a ball, take it, stop it. Batman plug in, and you move like a electric. It's like a basketball, she take time out, she bam it. We listen to me, silent, we listen to me, lyrics. I be in a man, they have me a drop it. I said, Sim Sima, who got the keys to my bima? Who am I? The girls, them sugar. How can I make love to a fella in a rush? Pass me the keys to my trucks. Who am I? The girls, them luck. And I and I will make love to press up. Anything she wants, I will give it unto she. I can't believe today my friend them tell me that she flee. I don't believe he's angry and I don't believe he's grief. I don't believe he's Susan or the other girls I need. Love for me, she has that easy only thing I need. I don't need to do my love. Don't give me a good time for someone who never gets seen in my life. This one's for Queen. This one's for Queen. Oh, hey, yo, 
Egyptian. Tell them for go on eviction. This one, yeah, it's had a bad gal edition. See them gal, the contradiction. Them say them sitting tight, a bear fiction. The wall of them a beat. Body smoking, cigarette. Shit nice, figure it. Get them the rollerblades, tell them to ski it. Stay out on them, Jamaican tip. All I do is sign boobs and be taking pics. Got the new bins, the color of a bacon pit. Got a spot in every state, Dalmatian. They got us young money, old money, real good money. Ain't do a feature that wasn't on Billboard, honey. Kingston, Remo, Water House, Jungle, Bobby, man, I've enough gal in a bomb.
New York to the heart, but got love for all. Line die in the fire where I learn the ball. Uptown is the place where I lay my dome. On the streets of the Bronx where my family roam. Oh damn it, we home. He done got a n- player hated to feel the flame for my hair. I never really liked to play a fool like that, but I love the Hey, thank you for tuning back in with us. And if you just tune in, I appreciate you for doing that too. I want to introduce you to our special guest for today, DJ Genius. Thank you, thank you. Thank My you. favorite DJ. What's up, world? <laughs> Salute DJ Clapper, all the DJs out there. Respect the DJs. All right. So I want to um, let everybody know that you have 20 years of experience in the music industry. And I know you plan to share a over, lot of over value. Over 20, over 20. Yeah, over 20. Over Snitching 20. on myself. Let, let, let me correct myself. Over 20. <laughs> and I know you plan to share a lot of valuable information with the listeners and the viewers. So let me ask you a question. How did you get the name DJ Genius? Oh, man. Um, you ain't know already, those that do know me. Um, I, I'm a nerd, you know what I'm saying? In school, he's answer all the questions, you know. It's, upset a lot of the classmates and stuff so they used to always say let the genius answer it or ask the genius so I said to myself once I started doing what I was doing that I would make them never forget it you know what I'm saying so it stuck with me I just creatively spell it because I believe in being different you know what I'm saying being an aboriginal not being like somebody else message you know but um so I mean that's pretty much what that that came from and it, and it stuck you know, okay. so it's a way of getting back at everybody, you know, so and showing that being smart could be cool. So kind of like a nan and a boo boo to you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, pretty like, much. Pretty all much. right, dig that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I know, but can you share what age you begin to produce music? Oh man, um, coming from a musical family, you know, I started real early. You know, um, my aunt was late great Sarah Vaughn. You know, and I have a whole plethora of family members who have been in every aspect of music from jazz, R&B, hip hop, funk, you know. Um, so I started really early, you know. When I was able to, you know, walk and talk, you know, I was banging on drums and playing the piano on stage with my aunts, uncles and cousins and everything. So, you know, music was always around me. I didn't really take it serious per se. So I think I was like about, I was about nine years old. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I was nine, you know, I, uh, you know, had the opportunity, thankfully, because I had parents that, you know, pushed and believed in what I was doing that exposed me to all of the right things, you know, the right schools, you know, I can play almost every last instrument, do more than just DJ. And um, music sparked and changed my life. You know what I'm saying? It literally saved my life. You know, because I could have very easily have been consumed by, you know, the things that were around me. You know, for those that don't know, I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. You know, salute to all my Brooklyn Knights. You know, um, and uh, it was it was pretty wild back then. Yeah. You know, I didn't like what I saw looking out the window. You know, and I always told myself I wanted to do something to change that. In order to change that, I had to change. Okay. You know, so I want to be a living example of that change. You know, so. But that's what's up. Because, you know, a lot of nine-year-olds are not even thinking about what they want to do, you know, for the rest of their lives. Or <laughs> even considering, you know, this is what my career is going to be. So that's a blessing in itself. You know what I'm saying? So you had the opportunity to to take that, the knowledge and, and the blessings of being around others to have you where you are today. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't take credit for that, though. Salute to my parents and all my elders and everyone that's around me. That list is very, very long. I could probably roll it all the way down Georgia Avenue for all the people that helped me to get to where I am today. You know. Blessings, blessings. So I know you're not just a DJ. You're not just a producer. You have businesses. Can you tell us a little bit more about what they are? Um, well, the, the umbrella is, you know, uh, genius music, of course. Um, we do production, you know what I'm saying? We do entertainment. I do publishing, you know, um, also write, you know, for those that can't spit bars, you know, spit bars, retired. You got it. <laughs> but uh, I still write, 
you know, ghost right for a lot of people. Um, produce radio, of course, uh, plug, you know, Genius Music Radio. Um, for those who can't afford uh, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, y'all can download the TuneIn app and just type in DJ Genius or Genius Music Radio. Y'all can listen to any of my shows anywhere in the world, you know. I also do graphic arts growing up. You know, I used to tag trains, and I took tagging trains into graphical arts. So I can do everything from design a logo to actually do animation. You know oh, what I'm saying? So. Okay. A man of many talents. That's what's up. All right. So can you share some of the artists that you work with over the years? Oh, man. Coming up. I mean, uh, everything from DITC, for those who don't know, that's digging in the crates. You know what I'm saying? Uh, legendary legends. You know, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have your people like Fat Joe, you know, rest in peace, Big L, you know, Showbiz and AG, Fat Joe. I mean, the list goes on. Um, those are notables. I've, I've worked with many people, you know, throughout my, my tenure, I should say. Uh, when I was at Tommy Boy, I worked with a lot of the people y'all know today, like Murray J. Blige, Joe the C, Father MC, and a whole plethora of, you know, others. You know what I'm saying? And no disrespect to Tommy Boy, you know. Um, I signed a, a bad deal, you know, and this is why I even started what I do now because mm -hmm. when I came in, I didn't have all of the knowledge that I have now. You know, a lot of people, you know, don't uh, understand the business of things. Right. They want to get into things and, you know, do them, but they don't want to take the time to do the research and gain the knowledge and experience in doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that's true. Um, pretty much I got offered uh, some money up front, and um, that's all I got mm. for producing a whole bunch of tracks. I got you. You know, but uh, it was a lesson learned. If that wouldn't have happened, then I wouldn't be here right now, and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. So I'm thankful for it, to be honest. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It made me wiser. It made me a better person. Taught me how to do business better, you know. You know, a lot of people go through, you know, certain things, whether it be in the music industry or just life in general. And it's all about how you deal with those obstacles and things that try to stand in your way. You know, I'm glad that you didn't give up and just say, forget it, you know, and, and not pursue your dreams, regardless of what somebody else did. Because in this industry, there are a lot of people, like I said in a couple of shows before, they will take advantage of you because they know that they can. And so that's the reason why I have, I'm blessed to have this platform to explain to you, you know, different things and different topics about music business and give you that education. And don't just take my word for it, you know, go out and get a book and, and research further into what I'm saying so that you have the knowledge to, to go further than just on Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? So again, I am glad that you continued, you know what I'm saying, in your dream and your pursuit, regardless of what somebody else did. So. Well, I mean, you know, me personally, my view of a lot of things in life is different. You know, my view is that territory was made for me to pursue glory. I'll take nothing less than that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always going to have a drive and hunger to go out here and do what I need to do to get the things that I need to get. You know what I'm saying? And that's not cheating it. You know, because a lot of people have that fake it till you make it mentality. Yeah. Really do the homework. Really pick up a book, read, go to class. You know what I'm saying? Learn the things, no matter what you're trying to do. If you're trying to be an MC, really learn about it. Study the history of it. You know, how can you call yourself an MC and you don't know who the founders of it was? You know, exactly. more than half of the cats that's out here, they don't know who people like Cool Herc is. You know what I'm saying? Right. Legend. Salute to Cool Herc, too. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, again, learn the things that you need to learn to do the things you need to do. To be you know? successful, And yeah. I'm not bashing a lot of the young people. I'm just saying take the time to master your craft. Because right. you can't call yourself, you know, something if you don't know where you came, where it came from, where it derived from. If you want to be better, like if you really want to be an artist, then learn about the whole process. Right, exactly. You know? right. Learn about the recording process and make you a better artist. You want to be a better producer, then... Study the other ones. Learn about engineering, the study of sound. That way you're not just Joe Schmo down the block with a program that make beats because there's a difference between a beat maker and a producer. Anybody could buy a program or buy an Akai sampler, you know what I'm saying, and mm -hmm. sample a beat and make it, but do they know the levels to record at? Right. You know what I'm saying? Negative six to zero decibels for those that don't know. I won't go into full details, you know what I'm saying, about everything, but 
anybody who would want to know that information, they can hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hard to find. And I'm more than willing to share that information. I'm unlike a lot of other people. I believe in bridging the gap between the old gen- older generation and the younger generation. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm free in here to talk to anyone who would want to learn. That's what's up. I appreciate you for that. So let's talk about what your most memorable experience was producing. Oh, man. My most memorable um, I was blessed with the opportunity growing up to have some of the greatest people, you know what I'm saying, in the game around me. So it was all memorable. I could walk outside my house and some of the greatest MCs lived in my neighborhood. <laughs> so, you know, before I even did anything, it was great watching them, you know, being there during, you know, the birth of hip hop. So, you know, I was out there with my cardboard box, <laughs> you know, doing them days break dancing. You won't catch me doing that no more, though. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was I was there, and I'm glad that I I had the opportunity to witness that. And again, like I said, it changed my life. You know what I'm saying? It was something about hearing the fusion of jazz. You know what I'm saying? And and hip hop, R and B, and hip hop, reggae, and hip hop. It literally saved my life to see. You know, people really, you know, talk about things, you know, then they had a message in their rhymes. They wasn't just gimmicks. You know what I'm saying? It was really spitting knowledge, spitting bars, you know, nothing, you know, nothing against the people who, you know, are out here right now that's doing things off gimmicks. But I will say this, gimmicks don't last. True indeed. You know, um, real skills you can't download. Hmm. Message. All right, so who is your mentor and how did they inspire you? Oh, man, I don't think we have enough time for me to name all of them. Um, I'll say DJ Scratch, Cool Herc, DJ Red Alert, you know what I'm saying? Right here in the DMV, Super Funk Regulator, CeeLo, salute fam, you know. um, Everybody and everything around me, you know. Like I said, I grew up around a lot of people. Thankfully, I was blessed to learn from a lot of people. I read things that I didn't know I went to school for, you know what I'm saying? And I really practiced, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? I went and watched DJs, you know, looked at their sets, how they were performing, you know, those sets, you know what I'm saying? Watching how they were doing things. And I went home and I actually practiced those things, you know what I'm saying? I really did my homework, you know, so... And I encourage anybody who's trying to do something, if you want to be better, then put yourself around people who are better. Mm. You know what I mean? Message. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you for sharing your story and letting us know a little bit more about no DJ problem. Genius. You can follow DJ Genius at on Instagram at DJ Genius, Twitter is DJ Genius, or at DJ Genius Mix Show. Facebook is facebook.com backslash genius music. Mixcloud is mixcloud.com backslash backslash DJ Genius. For tune in, it's Genius Music Radio, and the website is djgenius.blogspot.com. All right, we're going to go into commercial, and when we come back, we're going to talk about business with producers. So I want you to grab your pens. This is one you don't want to miss. Hey, 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 hey,
young niggas at the pad throwing up gang signs. Ran in the house and grabbed my clip with the Mac 10 on the side of my hip. Bailed outside and pointed my weapon. Just as I thought, the fools kept stepping. Jumped in the foe, hit the juice on my ride. I got front and back and side to side. Then I let the Alpine play. play. Pumping new shit, buying WA. It was gangster, gangster at the top of the list. Then I played my old shit, it went something like this. Cruising down the street in my 6'4. Knocking the bitches, slapping the hoes. Went to the park to get the scoop. Knuckleheads out there, cold shooting some hoops. A car pulls up, who can it be? A fresh El Camino rolling kilo G. He rolled down his window and he started to say, It's all about. My melody, hand out a cigar. I'm letting knowledge be born, and my name's the R. AKA, I am not like the rest of them. I'm not on the list. That's what I'm saying. I drop lines like a scientist. My melody's in the cold. The very next episode has the mic off and distorted, ready to explode. I keep the mic at Fahrenheit. Freedom them seeds and make them cooler. The listener's system is kicking like solar. As I memorize, advertise like a poet. Keep you going when the flow is smooth enough. You know it's the rough. That's why the mural on my story, I tell them, be nobody. Beats the R. Check out my melody. Check out my melody. Microphone being addicted soon as I seen one of these form C's so they don't have to scream. I couldn't wait to take the mic, flow into it to test it, let my melody play. Then the record suggested I'm dropping bars, but I say peace and calm. Any MC that disagree with me, wave your arm. And I'll break when I'm through break and I'll leave your boat. Drop the mic when I'm finished and watch it smoke. So stand back, you wanna rap all the back and wait. I won't push, I won't beat around the bush. I wanna break up on those who are not supposed to. You might try, but you can't get close to. Because the number one competition is no. I'm measuring the So this is how it goes. Let me let you know. 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 Let me let you Representing, putting queens on the map. Devil springs with some baggy jeans when I rap. Come up with a style, but they coerce a tap. But treat me like no name, I've been in this game for a while. Welcome back. You are tuned in to Why Wait Educate Now with my special guest, DJ Genius. What's up, world? What's up, world? Guest DJ, DJ Clapper. Hey, how y'all doing? Appreciate y'all. And we have a special guest, somebody who tuned in, a good friend of mine, Didi Ingram. He has a question for, I guess, my guest or maybe myself. Hey, uh, Didi, how are you? What's up? I'm well, and yourself, how you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah, I was calling in just to show support. I've been trying to catch up with you for the past couple of weeks. I finally got in today. I'm really enjoying the show, and uh, I just want to, you know, give you some love. I do have one question. Okay. I get out. That way I can keep my promise. Okay. Uh, <laughs> DJ Genius, uh, I was listening to him talking about all of the things he's been through and uh, what he's doing, and my question is simply... Uh, what is he doing to help make sure that other people are coming up in the game don't go through the hardships that he's gone through? Um, well, uh, I do a couple of different things actually to do that. I actually uh, teach uh, people who are willing to learn how to DJ. Um, and not even just with DJing, music period. If they're trying to get into photography, I know some of the biggest photographers in the industry. I bring them in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, I'm in the process of actually building a school. Uh, we're getting all the articles together to actually uh, make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Because I honestly believe in giving back. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all those who extended hands to me and helped me. You know what I'm saying? Nowhere, nobody gets anywhere by themselves. This know? is true. Well, thank you for answering the question. I'm gonna, uh, Get off the phone and listen to the rest of the show. I'm really enjoying it. Y'all keep doing your thing, and I'll keep, I'll keep tuning in. Well, thank, thank you, you so in. much, Dee <laughs> Dee. It's Dee Dee Ingram from Dee Dee Ingram Show. <laughs> hey, salute. I appreciate the love. 
All right, so I want to go into um, the tips that we were talking about of how to conduct business with the producer. Artists, please prepare before you go into the studio. Um, you need to rehearse and know your lyrics before you go in. Um, Definitely. It's, it's more than one reason why. For one, it's about your craft. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're saying that you're professional, you need to have things prepared ahead of time, you know, so that you're not wasting other people's time because you want to come out professional in every step of the way. Another thing is never bring a bunch of people to the studio when you're recording. Exactly. I'm going to tell you the reason why. It creates a distraction for one. Number two, now your guests are legally binding. They are able to collect royalties based off of the song that you just recorded. Why? Because they could have given you insight or information or feedback on a song. And now they're a part of that, that creative process. So be careful and mindful of who you bring with you into the studio. You know, it's not a game. It's not a party. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be professional once again. Just make sure you don't bring a bunch of people in there because you're trying to get your music created and done in a professional manner. And you don't want to waste the producer's time. I mean, it's money that you're spending to be in the studio. So why, you know, procrastinate with that? And so there are, I want to let you also know about four steps to recording. Um, you have pre-production, you have post-production, and you have mixing, mixing and mastering. Now, that was three steps. Am I missing one, DJ James? Well, I mean, the, the creative process uh, goes just before the pre-production, or they can be intertwined. But I'll say this, rule of thumb. Don't go into the studio until you're ready to go into the mm -hmm. studio. Don't go into the studio and do the creative process unless you have a serious budget because it costs you know what i'm saying it's time so already had the idea you know what i'm saying beforehand you know the more you do in the beginning the less you have to do in the end that's just a rule of thumb so you know yeah your creative process yeah your pre-production you know stage you know yeah your post you know what i'm saying and you have your mixing and mastering stage you know, please do the mixing and master. Oh my God, I can't count how many times. Okay, anyway, never show. But um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, at 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 the end of the day, what you want to do is make sure you're properly prepared. You know, and a lot of people, you know, they look at these videos or they look at YouTube or they base things off of iTunes for the record. Anybody could put something up on iTunes. Okay, iTunes will accept any type of music that is not properly mixed and mastered. So just because you have your music on iTunes doesn't mean that it's professional. Right. You know what I'm saying? Actually go and get your music professionally done. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting in one of the places that actually do that. Even though I have my own business, salute the boom and everybody at listening visit. Salute. You know what I'm saying? They're good peoples to me. Y'all can come here and record if y'all don't want to hear me or anybody else. You know, get your music properly done. That's important. Get it mixed and mastered. And don't walk out the studio unless you have these things right here. Very important. Instrumental. Mm -hmm. Radio edit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Along with the dirty version. Before you hand your music to the DJ, make sure you have that whole DJ service packet along with the acapella. Please. Goodness. Even if you're submitting your music to a record label or anything. Standard. You know what I'm saying? Because the DJ can actually help you. They can remix your song. A lot of us are producers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us are creative enough to take your music and blend it to other things to give your song more life, mm -hmm. to extend it. You know what I'm saying? So that's important. Very. Um, another thing I want to talk about is if you don't get all these things done ahead of time and you don't have them professionally done, when it's time for you to perform and, you know, you give that, that DJ your music and it sounds like crap, you can't. Put it off on the DJ at the venue. It has a lot to do with what you did ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? So let your music be professional enough because it's going to speak volumes when you're performing in front of a crowd. What's the point of performing something that's not put together properly? You know what I'm saying? It's a waste of money. So do it right the first time is pretty much what I'm saying. So um, is there anything else you want to add? DJ? Well, I mean, I, I, I'll say this. And when you get it professionally done, you don't have to worry about volume and things like that. I can't count how many times, you know, and I'm sure Clapper can attest to the same thing. 
you know, because you went to Joe Smo down the block to get your music done. It's not recorded at the right levels. And then we have to sit there and turn it up, <laughs> add a whole bunch of things to it, EQ it and everything else to get it at the levels that it should have been at to begin with. Right. You know what I'm saying? Spend that money. You spend it $300 on them Jordans, you can spend it on recording and have your music properly done. Just well. being real. You know what I'm saying? Invest <laughs> in yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you can't invest in yourself, then how can you expect anyone to invest in yourself? As a DJ, if you want me to push your product, come to me right. You know what I'm saying? And even if you, you, you don't have all of the pieces together, I can help you. You know what I'm saying? Get to where you need to be. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But I, I can't stand when I have to sit there and play somebody's music and it's not recorded right. The quality's not right. It's not at the right levels. Or you handed me a blank CD, oh my God, that has nothing on it. It don't cost that much to get your stuff properly pressed up. That's another thing. Artists, professionalism and presentation is everything. Yes, sir. At this day and age, nobody should be walking around without a business card. And if you're an artist, you should see yourself as a business if you want to be successful. Branding is important. Like, salute to DJ Clapper right now. If you look at DJ Clapper, you can see my man got his brand. He's wearing his brand. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? That's very important, artist. It's very important. Branding is everything. Business cards, you can go to. I ain't going to plug no people, but y'all know y'all can go online. Google is your friend and order some business cards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can get your CDs pressed up. You know, if y'all got a low budget, hit me up, and I'll show you where you can get professionally done work for a low cost. You understand what I'm saying? And matter of fact, if y'all come in to Listen Vision to get y'all work done, tell them I sent you. Go directly to Boom, or y'all can go directly to Morgan. Tell them I sent you, and I'm sure they will look out for you. All right? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, genius. <laughs> Teach them about them barter dollars. <laughs> I got this T-shirt made, shirts made off of barter dollars. Yes, yes. Listen, cross brand. If you don't have the money, listen, I started with nothing. Nobody handed me nothing. So what he's basically talking about is utilizing every situation as an opportunity. Right. You may have a friend who presses up shirts, you know what I'm saying? May even work in a print shop, you know? You can one hand wash the other. Work out some type of, you know, opportunity for yourself. If you present yourself in the right manner, people will seek you. You don't even have to seek them. True. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to, I'm not going to curse, stop trying to fake it till you make it. Really learn the ins and outs of things so that you can be a better you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying this to down any artist. You know what I'm saying? If you truly want to be great at what you're doing, mm -hmm. take the time to master your craft. You know what I'm saying? I'm 41, about to be 42. I've been in this game for a long time. I earned my stripes. You know what I'm saying? I was spitting bars at the age of nine. You know, I could play almost any instrument. I can really DJ, vinyl, CDJ, you name it. And not just push a button and play. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that has seen me know that and listen to my show, you can check that out and you can see what I really do. You know what I'm saying? And I pay homage to those that were here before me. Well, thank you for spitting that knowledge, DJ Genius. No problem, no problem. Uh, where will you be tonight? Uh, tonight, y'all can catch me on uh, 14 for You at Tropicalia, the uh, Autopia event for 20 Bello. Um, you can come check out some live performances, great food, and myself on the ones and twos. You know, and it's also an opportunity for indie artists because we support indie artists. You know what I'm saying? And we all are about bringing about unification, especially at a time when it's definitely needed. And yes. tomorrow, y'all can catch me at Tacoma Station. You know what I'm saying? DJ. All right. Well, thank you, DJ Genius. Oh, one more plug. Uh -huh. uh, my birthday. Yes. You know, my birthday is actually on the 24th for those that <laughs> don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing uh, my birthday bash is on the 28th, and that's going to be at the fire station in Silver Spring. You know what I'm saying? DJ Clapper, you're more than welcome to come through. Do a set if you like. Bring the family. You know what I'm saying? And I invite you all to actually come out. It's going to be great and it's going to be unforgettable. All right. Well, thanks for the invite. I know I'm going to be there. Are you going to be there? You should. Oh, yeah. I got to be there. I can't be a no show at my own back. Not you. Know? you. I'm talking <laughs> about me. I'm asking, are the, is the audience and the listeners going to be there? If you're local and in the area, please come through. 
All right, so I want to say thank you, DJ Genius, for being my special guest today. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here amongst such greatness. I mean, you got DJ Clapper right here. Yeah, you know thank you, saying? DJ and Clapper. Fact, actually, before we end, <laughs> before we end, I want y'all to make sure y'all check out DJ Clapper, everything he's doing, and plug your, your show that you're on, because he also does radio. Yes, sir. Yeah, I do radio, WRTR Real Talk Radio. You can catch us at uh, WRTRRealTalk.com. You can catch us at TuneIn Radio, WRTR Real Talk. Um, go to my Facebook page, Yvonne Collins. Everything else is DJ Clapper, DJ C L A P P A. People follow me on YouTube. They like my mixes clap, clap. all around. So appreciate that. And Friday, you'll catch me at Ivy City Steakhouse. Yes, yes. Open, Make sure y'all come out. Open genre. I, you, 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 you give me a song, I got you. And we good like that. Yeah, salute to Marcus and everybody over there, too. Good peoples. All right, so I want to say thank you to all my listeners. Um, so much love to you for tuning in every week. I really appreciate you. Also, I want to say a special shout out to my son, Xavier Scott, my better half, Esteban Garvin. The whole government. <laughs> Family, <laughs> friends who support me unconditionally every single day. It doesn't matter what day of the week. I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so much. Likewise. Love you too. Love you too. Yeah. And I want to go into our indie artist spotlight. So, DJ Clapper, you got it? We got it. We got it. Let's go. All right. Disaster, the bone appetite in the streets. I fuck with heat, the score not S5. Two Lamborghinis, the one drop, do stop. That shit y'all spit filth to me. No one, y'all don't come from the same ilk as me. Big shot for new lives, y'all soften up. If the Jews worth something, you be coughing them up. Think you recognize us, of course. You ain't sure with the top four scrambling niggas from Bay Shore. And that's bad how they got you gas to come try us. I heard about the guns and the keys of Lynn Byers, punk. Poor rank, you prone to get stuck. Old school, like a couple of cans of more duck. In the twilight zone, things just ain't the same. Say love me, but hate will not grab the reins. It is true, you know what? The United Nations must take up the plight of black people in America and the Native Americans. You know what? We are Fresh off the solo floor, spit the raw, spit the raw, come back, spit shit some more. You ain't dealing with some lame ass dude talking about. You got time in there, he ain't been the place to fly. It's the rap down the floor, you're fucking. Ooh, front row at the Barclay. Bars. Four seats for Beyonce. Four seats for Beyonce. Four seats for Beyonce. Four seats for Beyonce. When I started out, I was nothing but the little ugly kid. Eyebrows thick as hell, braces on before I was 12. Sitting in the kitchen, granny about to press my hair. Mama had good, good, but I ain't get that there. Daddy made sure I was good, so I could get that there. Anything I wanted, asked for it, and he was on it. Story make you think I was rich then, don't it? Truth is, we never were, and I never thought we was, and I ain't never been broke. I ain't never been broke. Been broke. But as far as the mind goes, always had bags of gold in my flow. Never conscious, just afraid of a rainbow. You know, A-H-U. Coming for your necklace, you coming for the crew. Always been T, you just had to let it brew. I'm like Stuart Man TV. Work hard, play harder. Show fans love, gotta keep the charger on deck. Yeah, but I ain't always had the juice, but now I'm OJ and you can keep the fruit. It's the come up season, why you trying to shoot? You like Elmer oh, Fudd and I'm Elmer's glue. I stick to my craft, stick to my truth. Now I'm four seats away singing Deja Vu. Four seats for Beyonce. 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 Yeah, I refuse to be the one touching the wall in the back of the arena while the axe stone stage is looking small as a peanut. But you up so high, if you sneeze too hard, then you might see Jesus. Save your, come save your creature. Student turn into the teacher. Moving down from them high ass bleachers and box seats where I see my features. Could have stayed there, get a view real nice. Nice only gets one slice. Nice only cuts with a knife. Nice only gets one knife. I'm a real line call. Got the ball rolling, now you know I'm gonna score. Now you get my metaphor. Nosebleeds to the box, to the flow, roll four. Now everybody mad. At me, cause I got good seats. Got good seats. But it ain't good enough to be. Enough to be. I'd rather be on stage with her.
in so why wait educate now and next week's guest is going to be jason dixon with push which means promote until something happens we'll discuss distribution means nothing without marketing thanks again for tuning in and until next time be blessed yes salute see y'all tonight Conversations over champagne. Persistence pays off. Backseat partition panties off. Oh, yeah. She my naughty girl, watch the show off. Love her with the lights on, so I kept my eyes on. Over, let me see. Loyalty, her major turn on. Good details, curl till I soul gone. Her man, broken bag to them stacks gone. Never. Anytime, any place, get a quickie on. All day thinking about how you stay wet. Sprung. So I must confess. I said it wasn't your life.